Okay, uh, here we are live at Webster's Tim Mullane's on a Class C South semifinal. Uh, Nate Lee's, Nate, Nate Lee's, sorry already. <laughs> Nate Will, the number two seed, taking on Dave Peterson, the number eight seed. The winner will be facing uh, Michael Fabrizio Smith. And ready to get started here on lane 17 and 18. Okay, if I can get a test, uh, I want to test the uh, the mic and stuff and see how, how the picture looks. What's this saying? Uh, Michael Fabrizio Smith's watching. Welcome, Michael. Okay, Dave Peterson starting on lane 17. Dave and Nate, Nate uh, did face each other once this season, earlier in the season. And nice friendly bounce for Dave to start things off. Drops six. Oh, a little luck with the wood there and uh, leaves just the, the head pin. First box, we are underway. This is a total pin match, five games. There are no single games like in the regular season. And it's a nine box day to start things out. So each each bowl will, will bowl five boxes at a time. This is John Ahern. Um, and then they'll switch lanes every five boxes and five five games in total. Dave, right off a little bit, drops off three. And the second ball here, right in the pocket. Oh, a tough little leave there. Leaving the one, seven, six, and ten. A little wood between the six and ten. It's going to be a tight match. The last match that they had during the regular season came down. To the, oh, and that's a nice pickup for 10 bucks. You want to disable uh, animations? Oh! And a lemon drop. Well, hopefully Paul Grant's watching. That's one one lemon drop. I'll have a scorecard here just in case. The candle pins for cancer. And a little bit off to the right. Drops four more. Gonna need a big out here on the second box. And sails a little bit to the right for a five box. So that gives Dave 15 after two. Uh, these two did bowl in the regular season in Norwood. Uh, Dave did win. We get a score correction already. It was a nine. Is that through three already? Okay. Okay, yeah, 24 through three. Uh, we had a score correction there. But when they met in the regular season, whoa, right on the head pin and drops everything but the four pin. Dave is at 24 after three frames. Looking to pick up a mark here. To and slides by just the left. When they did meet in the regular season, um, Dave won eight to six. It was a 473 to 459 match. It was a close match. And, uh, Nate won three strings, Dave two in the total. Came right down to the last, last string in that match. So it's gonna be a very tightly contested match here. Dave sitting at 31 after four, a 33. Right in the pocket again. Oh, and he's got them wiggling there. Little help, just the 10 pin stays. 
Um, I'm sure Dave's going to want to send on one here. So this is John Ahern coming live here from Timber. Hopefully the music will stay off. There are birthday parties and stuff. It's a busy place here on Sunday. And he picks it up to sit with a spare. Get him 43 and a ball. Now Nate Lees will come up. I do uh, have the pleasure of bowling uh, with both of these gentlemen in leagues. Uh, bowled with Nate Will a lot this past winter in the Speed League in Millis on Wednesdays. And I bowl with um, Dave Peterson currently on Wednesdays in the Tuesday League. Us old city guys. Uh, there's four of us all from Rosendale and Hyde Park. And Nate off the left but gets a nice splash and he leaves just the one two Nate is the home bowler here bowls in the Tuesday night league with, along with me but not, not on the same team and he starts off with a nice spare um, I started bowling just a couple of years ago myself this is John Ahern uh, in Node with the league that Dave helps run and got Got me stuck on this game. Now I'm bowling all the time. Let's see how Nate does with this fill. And chops off three on the left. Pulls the triangle. Sure he's gonna one. But it is a spare leave. I will try rotating my phone. I thought I had it right. Is that, a, is that a better view for the phone? Nico, I did rotate my phone. How's that look? Okay, thank you for the feedback. Welcome, everybody, all 17 of you. And right in the pocket for Nate. Gets a 2-3 and three split, leaving the 1-3, 7, 6, and 10. Dave Peterson's watching. I hope he is. He's playing. Good. And no. Sails right by. He was 23 after, after two. Now sitting at 30 after three. He's up one pin. Box to box. Dave's got a nine and a spare to finish up his half. Welcome, Carrie Ann and Alana. And a beautiful hit. Gets a little splash. Leaves a diamond in the seven. Welcome, Caden. Caitlin. Uh... Oh, what a beautiful shot for the spare. Picked up the diamond and the seven. That gives uh, Nate 40 in a ball through four. He's up seven box to box plus another six. So that gives him a 13 pin lead after four. Leaving himself the one, three, four, and ten. Oh, what a beautiful shot. Picks up three. Now he's got the 4-10 left for his 10 bucks. And off to the left for Nate. And after the first half, we've got Nate Willard, 54, and Dave Peterson, 43, and a ball. Switching over to the lane, uh, lane 18, here at Timber. Coming to you from Webster Timber Lanes. Hopefully the music stays off for us and uh, there are some couple of parties coming in. Sunday is just a busy day here. And Dave on it. Dave picks up. 
A nice eight on his fill for a 51 half. So at the half, it's now official 54 for Nate and 51 for Dave. Looking to pick up a spare here to start his second half. He's got the three eight. Oh, Wood just took it away. Leave himself just a three pin. Wood, no help right now, it's in the back. And it's a nine box. Dave at 60 after six. Gonna wanna put a little room here. See here. And on his first ball, off to the right a little bit. Picks picks up uh, triangle to the right, leaving himself a cluster bunch. Seven pins still standing. Uh, punches through a little bit, but still leaves just four. He has the one, three, eight. Seven and eight. Uh, seven of five and seven out of Oh, it chops off the seven for a seven box. So that gives uh, Dave uh, 67 through seven. Gonna wanna pick up a mark here. Put some pressure on Nate, who's sitting at 54 at the half. We are in game one here on the ACST semifinals. Nate, the number two seed, and Dave, the number eight. Right on the head pin. Drops eight. He's got a piece of perpendicular wood sitting right there with the five, eight remaining. Welcome Mike Kent, John Regal, Bob Geyser. Thank you everyone for joining here. This is going to be a great match. And it's already off, off to a good start. And he picks it up for the spare. Very timely spare in the eighth. 77 and a ball. In the eighth box for Dave. Dave's been bowling uh, since the 70s, I believe, back at uh, Inhide Park. He grew up in the city just like myself. I grew up in Rosnale. We didn't know each other then, but... Um, we do now in the bowling world, uh, both at the old Empire Lanes and some of the kids' leagues back in the 70s. And a great ball there, and is it gonna wiggle? Oh, it's like a loose tooth there, but it's staying. No tooth fairy here. Okay, so he dropped six on the fill. Leaving himself the three, five, seven, nine. Oh, it just picks up the seven. No, the, not the seven, I'm sorry, the five. Leaving himself three, seven, nine. And picks up one more for an eight box. Through, through nine completed boxes, Dave is sitting at 91. He's gonna wanna sit on one here. You said Dave's been bowling a long time. Uh, I'm Philly New myself, this is John Ahern. But uh, Dave and uh, Gerard Hogan got me into this crazy game and I love it. Oh, what a hammer, that's a way to put a statement on in the 10th box there. Beautiful and timely strike. Now he's gonna wanna have a great fill here. Put some pressure on Nate, the home bowler. Fill ball of two. And drop seven on his first ball. And he's got the one, two, ten. The piece of wood behind the one that couldn't come into play. 
Welcome, Laura. Oh, we're in an eight box. So, so Dave finishes up with a respectable 109 in the first box. Nate, Nate coming up. Uh, he had 54 after the half, and he's got a little pressure on him now. He's going to need 55 to tie, 56 to win in this half. Welcome, Patrick Kellogg. Oh, a little chop right there. Leave himself four and two. He's got the one, two, four, seven, six, and ten on the right. And picks up three there, leaving three, just leaving the one, six, ten. There's six box. Beautiful bid, just takes off the one for an eight box. Giving him 62 through six to Dave's 60 through completed boxes. So he's up two in the match through completed boxes. We are in the first string of five it is total pinfall. Oh, and a chop there for Hop What's the left side. ball it is he drops all all but the one seven it's a great second ball from the half whistler he's gonna look to to pick up the one seven split for the ten. Oh, and just slides to the right shaves it for another eight box which gives him 70 after seven completed boxes to dave 67 but Dave uh, finished strong with a spare nine strike. Right now, Nate is up three pins, box to box. Yeah, a little bit off to the left, leaving the one, two, eight, nine, ten. Welcome, Charles Gallant. Patrick, chairing Nate for the C South. Oh, slides it off to the right a little bit to the money hole. It's going to want a good out here. Like I said, this is a five string match. This is string one, and it's total pinfall. And a beautiful out for a nine box. Nice clean up there, giving him 79 through eight completed boxes to Dave's 83. So that puts him down four going with two boxes to go in that in this first string. We knew this was going to be a close one, and it is so far. Welcome, Moore. I, I don't have to ask who you're uh, rooting for. Oh, right in the left side pocket, and drops eight, Leave, leaving the 310. It's got wood lumber to the left, and is a a piece of lumber right to the left of the 10 pin. Welcome, Eric. Oh, just pulls out the wood. And welcome, Benjamin. How's things in Wisconsin? Is it still hot out there? Hey, Dave. Can you tag? Uh, can you tag? And Nate just picks up one that tag down. If you tag him from the, the stream. And a nine box, so through nine completed boxes. We've got Dave at 91 and Nate at 88. A three pin lead, but Dave did finish with a strike. And right on the pocket. That uh, was a strike ball I've ever seen. One leaves himself the dime on the left side. He's got a piece of wood, though. that could help with it. 
Well, it's nice and cool down here, Benjamin. And does it. What a beautiful pickup for a spare. They tell you, these bowlers know what they're doing. They're both end with marks. Still promises to be a nice close one here. Nate's going to look for a big fill here to keep this match close. Dave finished up 109. And Nate is at 98 plus a ball here. Right in the middle. And got a couple of wigglers there. And he drops six. So that gives um So after the first string, uh, Dave Peterson 109 and Nate Wheeler 104. We've got a great match going. Five pin lead for Dave, and we start, we'll be starting on the second string now. It is total pinfall. Um, this is this is, was promised to, to be a great match, and both bowlers come out firing, finishing strong. Just hit the one. Dave to start the second string here. Only five, only five pins uh, separating after the first string. Dave's gonna look to see, uh, pick up where we uh, finished. Here at the start of the second string and right in the pocket. And he drops seven. Leaving the three, five, nine. Oh, beautiful bid, but the nine pin still remains with a plank in front of it. Looking to pick that up for his 10. Welcome, Mike Pasciuto. Sorry if I didn't pronounce that wrong. And yes, we just finished the first string. And Dave starts off the second string with the 10 box. Like I said, Dave with a five pin lead after the first string. Oh, just off the pocket, a little bit to the right. Leaving himself a three and two. He's got a, a one, two, four, six, ten. Piece of wood behind the one, two. Oh, gets a little luck there with the wood. Leaving just a one, four for another ten box. He takes one, gets nine bucks, give him 19 after two. This Class C South has been upset city. Nate Wheeler at the number two is the only remaining uh, division winner left in the playoffs. Dave Peterson was the, was the number one killer. He took, off, took down Matt DiPero uh, in the first playoff match. Nate won his uh, game against George last week here at Timberlanes. And beautiful second shot. And let's see if it was going to take it. And it does. Leaving just a head pin. Yes, Michael, it's going to be close. And you get, to, you get to play the winner of this match. If Dave... Dave wins, uh, you'll be hosting him down in Yarmouth at Ryan's family in Yarmouth. And if Nate wins, you'll be traveling up here to Abington to face him at Webster. And a nice 10 bucks. So that gives uh, that gives Dave a 29 after three here on the second string. Welcome, Matt DePero. Dan Castle, a lot of our sea bowlers here tuning in. And Dave, oh, just a little bit too good in the middle there. Uh, drop six though, leaving the two, four, 
three and nine on the right. And beautiful ball there and grabs two. Just leaving the three and the nine. Uh, Dave hitting his objects pretty good here today. And just slides that up. Look, that, that was the, uh, the Matt Tavero. You heard me talking smack, huh? You're like me on the sidelines, Matt. But you did well. You had a great season. I finished right where I started, 16th place. Welcome, Benj Benjamin. Yes, uh, all the all, uh, all the ACST matches, Benjamin's. Uh, oh, right in the pocket, and a hammer dropped. That was a beautiful ball by Dave Peterson, where he sit, sits on a strike. So that gives him 47 and two balls to end the, the first half of the second string. Putting some pressure right out of the gate on the second one with Nate. Let's see if Nate is going to get that wheel wagon going. He's got his uh, brand new uh, Cobras that he broke in last on last week's match. He's gotten used to them now. But yes, Benjamin, uh, all the houses are. Oh, a little bit off the left, but gets a nice bounce. And drops eight. Leaving the one nine. He's got some wood behind the one coming, coming into play now. Uh, that could be a helper right there. Yeah, he's got some, looks like it's wide. Welcome, Steve Carden and Patrick McCauley. Yes, that was a clutch strike. So here's... And right on it! Just, just a beautiful shot by Nate. Picks up the spare to start his second string. We're gonna, this, this is going to be a barn burn. We got ourselves a Donnybrook. Oh, you get a score change? Nate, Nate, Nate says, I got to do it all. I got to keep my own score. I got to set up the set up the games. But he's uh, off to a great start in the second string here. And on the fill ball, oh, not a good time for that half horse to left. Giving him 12 after, after the first part. But a two-pin lead in, the, in this uh, second string. Through one box, he's up two. And match lead down to three. Dave. And a beautiful second ball. Oh, and he gets rewarded. Not. Leave him, lead himself the 4 5 10. This is going to be a tough one. Oh, and a great bid. Grabs one. For an eight box. So Nate is 20 after two to Dave's 19. Match is. Completed boxes down to four. Pin lead for Dave. Nate's not in his third box here in the second string. It is a total pin match. Oh, just a hair off to the right there, but leaves himself the post with a piece of wood behind the 1 3. And Cherry picks the four. Gonna want a good out here. Still got, still got the one, two, seven, ten left. And his third ball. Ah, a good bid. Grabs an eight box. So through three completed boxes, we get Dave at 29 and Nate at 28. For a six pin lead in the match through 13 boxes. Nate's gonna wanna grab grab a mark here in these last two boxes of the first half of the second string. Dave had an eight box and a little bit off the right, but some great mixing. Move over to the right here a little bit. That's a little bit better. Yes, Jeffrey Smith, this is gonna be a nail biter right to the end. And Nate just doinks the wood out of there. Still leaving him the one seven. He's gonna wanna clean these up for 10. 
He's up against an eight box for Dave in the fourth box. And a beautiful pickup for a nice 10 box. Gives him 38 through four completed boxes to Dave's 37. Matches down to a four point lead for Dave. But Nate is up against a strike in the fifth box here in the second frame. This is all what we said it was. Thank you all 23 viewers. And right in the pocket. Oh, just a little bit light, but a great ball. Lee, leaving his, he's got the, I don't know if that's the Starlight 5. Uh, Drew, if you're around, you'll have to tell me, is that a Starlight 5? Five? five to the left there. And picks off five box, leaving him four. He's got the uh, one, two, one. Nope, he's got the two, four, seven, eight, I believe. Oh, and it's a six box. Not a good time for that. So halfway through the second string, Dave Peterson at 47 and a ball. 47 and two balls. He had a strike, and Nate at the 44. So we still got a close one here. Plenty of room left in the second string. A great match. Dave's coming up in a six box here to, to fill his strike. To slide over here a little bit. Sorry about the thing here. Yes, Benjamin. Pinning is the free throws of Candlepin. Oh, and the first ball he drops seven. Leave himself the three five seven for a second ball of his strike fill. Seven is a great start for a strike fill. Oh, and he chops, chops off the five for an eight fill. That gives him a 55 half and an 11 point lead in the string and a 16 pin lead in the match after one and a half. So he drops eight there. Now he's sitting at Was that an eight or seven then? Nate, was that an eight or a seven? Is it 62? Oh, not a good time for the half. What's the left side? 63, Dave sitting at 63 after six. Sorry, my eyesight, not what it used to be. Welcome Chris Jones, Josh Abelman. Oh, a good pickup. to Drops everything but the 479. Wood doesn't look like it could help, but you never know. Welcome, Chris Waterman. Thank you, all 26 viewers. Oh, and a good bid there. Picks up two for a nine box. Through, through seven completed boxes, Dave is sitting at 72. He's looking to put a little pressure. On Nate here in the second string. He's up 16 for one and a half. It's a total pinfall match. Not on his first ball. Hey, James at the left, but gets a nice flash. Dropping six. Leave himself a five, eight, six, and ten. But a lot of lumber there to help. Let's see how he plays it. Oh, drops everything but the kingpin. Oh, and there we got a late correction. Drops the kingpin for a beautiful spare. Nice pickup. 82 and a ball through eight for Dave. He's looking to put some pressure on Nate. Nate's gonna have to get that wheel wagon going. He's driving it solo today. And on the ninth box here, let's see how Dave fills his spare. Right in the pocket. And he drops six. A decent fill, giving him 88 through eight. And the 
strike a ball. And he drops two, leaving the five to ten. Woolworth discount, as Paul Grant would say. Welcome, Charles. Hey, Rod, welcome. And a nine box. So through through nine, that gives Dave 97. He's looking to keep the pressure on Nate. Through one and a half, Dave is up 16 pins in the match. Oh, beautiful ball. Gets rewarded. Not. Drops six. He's got two and two there. He's got the... Five, eight, three, and nine. With some wood to the behind the three and nine. Oh, he plays it well. What a shot. That's two in a row. Two difficult spare pickups by Dave. He can't believe it himself, but I told you this was going to be a bottom burn, but Dave finishing with two spares in his final three boxes here. To keep the pressure on. Yeah, that was quite a shot, Charles. Two, three, four, six, no wood. Whoa, and he drops the hammer. That's two games in a row, Dave ends with a strike. This time was a strike on a spare fault. So Dave finishes his second string at 117. Uh, it was a great string. And Nate's up with a 44 half. He's going to need a, need at least three marks here to keep the, keep the match close. Oh, right off the bat, he drops him right in the pocket, drops eight. Nate's off to a great start in the second half. He's got a beautiful spare leave. Has some wood here that's going to come into play. Welcome, Dan Isdell, and congratulations on your great match yesterday. I was, it was great to see you there. Uh, two days ago, rather. It seems like yesterday. And Nate wants that one back. He sailed that just off to the left there. He's looking to pick up, pick up a, a 10 box here. And no, five pin stays for a nine box, giving him 53 after six uncompleted boxes. Dave is at 63 to Nate's 53. He's up 10 plus five from the first string, so that gives him 15 after 16 completed boxes here in match two. Nate's got his work cut off here, and he just drops three off to the left on the triangle, leaves himself a seven bunch here. Yes, Benjamin, that was two great half endings for Dave. Frank Morrow, welcome. Uh, welcome all 26. Uh, hope I'm doing you justice to this game. There's a great match going on here. And a beautiful pickup here for a spear. That's the Nate I know and I bowl with. That's a timely spear. Giving him 63 in the ball. He's up against 72 through 7 Dave, but Dave finishes with uh, three marks. About two marks and a strike fill. Oh, that's a beautiful eight fill for Nate. Leaving himself a 6 9 with some wood in between. Nate is not going to go down easy here, that's for sure. And he picks up another spare, back-to-back -back spares uh, to keep, keep himself in, in the match. That gives him 81 on the ball in the eighth box. Uh, Dave was at 88 through eight, so he's going he's gonna to look to grab a six fill to take the lead in the string through completed boxes. Right in the pocket again. A beautiful ball. It's a 2-1 split. Leaving the 4-7-10. Yeah, 
He has some wood in the deck. Uh, not all of it looks helpful, but this would be a pretty shot if it goes. Oh, and a beautiful pickup. I tell you, these guys have come to play today. It is, it is a Donnybrook. That's three marks in a row for Nate. An eight fill and a seven fill. So 18 and a 17. He is at 98 in the ball. In the ninth frame. He is up uh, one pin plus this fill. Uncompleted boxes. And he drops another eight box. So a beautiful fill. Give him a 106 through nine completed boxes. Oh, and he wants that one back. That one slipped out of his hands a little bit. But we got ourselves a pretty close match here. Welcome, Ray McAllister. Oh, and the wood just pulled it out of there for an eight box. Giving Nate a 114. So the second string ended with a 117 for Dave Peterson to 114 for Nate, who made a great comeback after a 44 half to finish with 114. So that gives Dave an eight pin lead after two completed strings. Don't go anywhere. We've got ourselves a great one. Dave just out the third string here. And gets a little bit of a splash, got some help there. Leaving himself five. He's got the one, two, five, eight, and ten. Not the way he wanted to play it, but drops everything but the one and ten. Looking to clean these up for his ten marks. We've got a such such a great race going here. It's gonna come. I have a feeling this this one's gonna come back. Come right down to the last string, last couple boxes. And another great pickup. I tell you, these bowlers have been making beautiful shots, and that was a ten. What's that? 10, yeah. yeah. Okay, Dave starting uh, with a 10 in the first box. Oh, just a hair off to the left. Leaves the cluster bunch to the right and the seven pin. Chopped out just three. In a second, I will, will flash the scores from the first two strings. It is an eight pin lead for Dave after two completed strings. And a beautiful shot, leaving just the five and 10. He has some wood, uh, well, the wood in front of the 10 is still moving, but he's got, and it's coming rest. He might, this might help him here. Oh, now the woods are moving away from the other side, so. Look at shifting wood. Oh, now it's coming back as the wood rolls. This is McDonald Carey. As the world turns. So, no, sorry. I lost my mind for a second. Let's see how Dave plays this one here in the second box. And he's right on it. And wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. The tooth is still standing. That was a great bid by Dave for a nine box. So 19 up to two. And here's the scores from the, the first two strings. Dave with a 109, 104 and a five pin lead. In game two, 117 to 114 for three more for 226 to 218 after two completed. We are here in the third string. And just chops a little bit to the left, but gets a little, 
I guess the Starlight 5, I believe that is. With the 1, 3, 6, 10, and 8. Oh, chopped it out a little bit, leaving them the 1, 6, 10. These gentlemen are both pinning well and picking up very great spares. Um, Michael is a welcome. And for his third ball, he takes out two. Smart play, grabbing the short two for another nine, giving him 28 after three. And here in the third string. You know, for, through the first two strings, uh, Dave Peterson with the eight box, eight pin lead after two completed strings. And another beautiful ball by Dave, leaving himself the triangle to the left. He has the two, four, and five left for his spare. Oh, just sails it a little bit to the left. He's going to want to pick these up for his to keep pinning. Both bowls have been pinning, pinning great so far. It's been a very tight contested match. No lead is safe. And a beautiful 10 box for Dave. Give him 38 through four. He's gonna wanna sit on one there. I, I, I think these bowlers have been sitting on strikes and spares, especially in the 10th box and on the five in the fifth box. I think Dave uh, sat on a, a spare, a spare and a strike, first two strings. Let's see if he can do the same here in the third string. Oh, little little splash, little help. He's got himself a cobra head, I believe it's called. One eight nine. Picks up the eight, leaving himself the one nine. It's a rare, this is the first open half for Dave. Been bowling well, press two strings. And he grabs himself an eight for a 46 half. So there's a slight opening here in the third string for Nate. He's smiling. He wants he wants to get that wagon wheel, that wheel of wagon going. Let's see if those Cobras can uh, hold up for him. Welcome, Kristen Warhouse. War, easy for me to say. Welcome, Kristen and Tom Crosby. And Chuck Grindle. And right in the pocket. And in the 10 pin falls. Leaving himself just seven with the plank in front. Nate looking to start up his third string. Try to cut in that 16 pin lead, of, uh, eight pin lead after two completed strings. Oh, he sails a little bit to the right. Not happy with himself. He wanted that one. Yeah, he picks up the 10 box. Like I said, we are in the third string of five in a tightly contested match. Dave Peterson, 226 to Nate, 218 after two completed strings for an eight pin lead. Both boxes here in the both both uh, bowlers here with tens in the the first frame of the third string. And Nate chops the right, gets a break. Leave himself the one two seven ten with wood between the one two and in front of the ten. And right in the park. Oh, what a beautiful bid there! But the ten pin is still standing. Thought he had that one, and so did Nate. And, oh, just off to the left there for a nine box. Both bowlers at 19 through two completed boxes in the third string here. 
Dave is open the rest of the first half of this third string. Nate is looking to grab some pins here to tighten up this match. And his first ball. Still it off the right pocket a little bit, leaving him the Starlight 5 again. One, two, four, seven, and eight. Picks up everything but the one, two. Like I said, we've, we've got an eight pin match right now. Coming up on the halfway point. And it's an eight box. Giving Nate 27 through three completed frames of the third string to Dave's 28. So it's a nine pin lead right now. Uh, two boxes remain for the halfway point of this match. Right in it. Beautiful shot, gets rewarded with the spread eagle. Too perfect a shot again. It's gonna have to go to work here. No good deed goes unpunished. Like they say, when you punch one right through, it's a perfect ball. Oh, and he sails in the money hole. He's gonna need a big out here. He's gonna look to grab at least three. Welcome to Tim Bushy. And all 23 of you. Thank you for tuning into the Sunday morning. And Nate does pick up three. They're the best he could do there for seven, seven bucks. Giving him 34 through four completed boxes to Dave's 38. But Dave is open on the fifth. He's gonna wanna try to tighten this up for the halfway point after this after this box. And we'll give you an update. Oh, punch is three. Half plus the, plus the five. No lead is, is safe here. Right on it. Wow. That's a great bid. Drops to get some wood moving, but still has the 810. Sorry, I had to move over a little bit. So we can see the pins fall. Have the name throws. Oh, and he sails through the middle for an eight box and a 42 half to Dave's 46. The bull is cooled off in this half, uh, both being open in the middle of it. We're at the halfway point of the match in the string. Dave at 46, halfway through the third, and Nate at 42. And that gives Dave a 12-pin lead halfway through the match. Don't go anywhere. This, this is going to be close. Sorry for the moving here, just trying to position so we can get the good vantage point here. Oh, Dave off a little bit to the left. He leaves, drops four there, leaving the one, two, four, eight, six, and ten. Split four to the left, two to the right. Beautiful bid. Leaving just the four, six, and ten. We've had some great endings to the strings in the first two here. And it's a seven box. It's going to tighten things up a little bit. Gives Dave his 50 through three. 53 through six. Like I said, he's sitting on a 12th pin, pin lead halfway through the match. And he, we're here in the second half of the third string. He's gonna wanna put some pressure on Nate. He's been great in the second half, especially that last string. He had a 44 half and finished with a 114.
Dave leaves him. Leaves seven to the left here. Right in the pocket. And a little, a little bit of help there. Leaving himself the five, seven, and eight. Try to clean up for his 10 marks. Oh, and he sails it for back to back sevens. Gives him uh, 60 through seven. He's going to want to finish strong here yeah, with three boxes left in this string. He's leaving a little bit of opening here for Nate. Both bowl has been red hot out through the first two. And a half was to the left. A little, little bit struggle here in the, in the third string. We've got some, we've got some half whistles, spread eagles, and just some uh, couple ugly boxes. But I'm sure they're all they're gonna get right back on it. These, these bowlers are professional. And that's a beautiful ball. And it's rolling. There's not enough seam there. Drops drops everything but the four seven. He's gonna look to pick these up for ten bucks. Welcome, Tim Bush Senior. And it's a nine box. Nine boxes aren't bad when you have when you start off with that half Worcester. Nate, you want to give him the nine box? Nate. Nate. Nine. Thanks. So Dave sitting at 69 through eight here in the third string. Right back on the head pin. Just hit a little bit light. Looked like a beautiful ball. Leaves himself the Starlight 5 again. I'm pretty sure that's the Starlight 5, but if Drew joins us, I'll ask him. Let's see what you can do here. He's going to want to put a little pressure on, on Nate. His bowl has been great with these tough pickups for spares. Oh, it chops it up, leaving himself. Five. And it's a seven box. Dave's struggling here a little bit. It's been red, red hot so far with, with the 226 after his first two strings. And he's sitting at 76 through nine complete here. And Nate's sitting on a 42 half. Um, both, both, both bowlers uh, haven't found a mark yet here in the third string, which is very unusual. They were, they were mar marking frequently in the first two strings, especially in the second half of the games. And a beautiful ball. Still working. And he's got the 6, 7, 10 left here. Uh, he's got some wood uh, dancing on the deck. There's three pieces of wood. How he plays this, so uh, we'll have to see how it could help there, uh, which, which side he's going to play. <clears throat> Thank you all 25 viewers. Welcome, Scott. Okay, coming up with the second ball here in the 10. Oh, and it doinked the wood right here. There was too much wood to choose from there. He's going to look to pick up two... Pick up two, anyways. And it's gonna, it's gonna be a no. And another seven box. That's that's. Yeah, I mean, if you was at the casino, three seven, three sevens would be good if you were at the casino. But Dave finishes his third string with an eighty-three. Uh, there is an opening here for Dave. Dave threw threw two complete. It was up twelve. Is up twelve, but. Uh, Nate with the 42 half here. Only needs 44 to to take to uh, 43 to match Dave here. But if anything over that, it'll cut into the match lead. 
And on his first ball, oh, just off, just a hand to the right. Looked like a great ball. Leave himself uh, Starlight 5 and 6-10 now. So he just dropped three. Oh, that's a good comeback there. Yes, Benjamin, the door is open for Nate here. Let's see if he can capitalize on it. Oh, a beautiful bid there. Leaving just the 610. And that's an eight box for Nate. Gives him 50 through six. Through completed boxes in the three, it's third third string. Uh, Dave at 53, Nate at 50. And like I said, Benjamin, the door is, is wide open for Nate. Uh, even Dave let me know you could drive a 18 wheeler through there. This opening. Oh, beautiful shot. Gets rewarded with the. Five, seven, ten. All the Susi special, as they call it. No wood. I believe um, Matt Susi made this one on a playoff match. Oh, Nate gave it a great bid. Drops one. And an eight box. So through seven completed boxes, uh, Dave is at 60, Nate at 58. Three boxes to go. There is still an opening here. That was a great ball, leaving the four horsemen left. Let's see if he, he could chin on Rick Komrowski and run this one down. Welcome, Dominic. Oh, uh, that was an opportunity missed there. Going to the wood a little bit to the right. He's going to want to pick up these pins, though. He's up against an iron box. That's the ball he wanted for a nice 10 box. Just a, just a ball too late. Giving him 68 through eight completed boxes to Dave 69. But right now, match the date. Dave is up 13. But uh, Nate up against two seven boxes. Uh, he's looking to uh, cut into it. Oh, a little chop in the middle to give him it was a great ball, but just chops through the middle, leaving himself a two and three. To the left, three to the right. He's got the three, six, ten on the right, and the four, seven on the left. Oh, looked like a beautiful ball, but just chops out the three. He's gonna wanna pick up at least two here. He's up against the seven box. Welcome, Brent. Oh, sailed off to the left a little bit for six box. So through nine complete here. It is Dave 76 to Nate 74. And a 14 pin lead in the match. Nate's gonna wanna put one on the end here. He is up against a seven box. There's a big opening. Both, both bowls are struggling a little bit here on the third. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. The total total's a little closer. And we got the clarity to the left here. In the 10th frame here, I'll, I'll give an update in the score um, right after this frame's completed. And on the clarity, drops three. Leaving the one nine. And a 10 box. Yeah, so that was a 84. So Nate Nate wins the string, 84 to 83 in the third, and chops the lead down to seven.
So after three completed strings, it is a seven pin lead. In the match, the day feeds. So here's the totals. After three completed strings here, we've got a total of 309 for Dave Peterson. It's a 302 for Nate Whaler, a seven pin lean in the match. That last string wasn't their best. Uh, Bowlers took a little breather there. 84 to 83 on the string. and. That, now we're going to the, we got two, two strings to go. A seven pin lead for the match. We told you guys this is going to be a close one and it is staying true. Dave, right in the pocket, right off the bat, drops eight. Leaving himself the uh, the uh, Star Trek 7-9. He's got some wood there that could help though. Dave looking to see how he wants to play this one. Wood was just moving a little bit. Welcome Drew Stale. What, you sleep in this morning? Oh, great bid, but the wood just pulled away. Yeah. After three completed strings, we've got a seven pin match. That's a, Dave is uh, waving that off. Uh, start with an eight box. Claimed it went off to the left. It is a bowler's call, not the announcer's call. So Dave starts uh, with an eight here. So if you just joining, uh, after three completed strings, Dave Peterson at 3.09 and Nate Wheeler at 3.02. We've got ourselves a close one here. Seven pin match after three completed strings. Off to the left a little bit. Just chops off three, leaving him six to the right. Oh, and then a little help there. And he leaves himself the 1710 here. No money available though. Welcome, Bud McKinney, and Robert Mazza, Andrew, Michael Pico. Welcome, everyone, all 24 viewers. We've got a great match here going. This is the semifinal match in Class C South. And oh, just off to the right with Dave. And that's a disappointing seven box. So David, 15 through two, he's gonna wanna start picking it up there. Bowls have pulled off a little bit. Well, you did a great job, Drew, last night, so uh, I can see why you need a rest. And off to the right, but drop six here. Leaving himself the one, two, six, and eight. One, two, four, eight, I'm sorry. Oh, almost got that one. Leaving the one, eight. He wants to clean up these pins. Pinning is gonna be crucial here. After three completed strings, it's, it's a seven pin match. This is gonna be a close one. And sails to the left for an eight box. Dave's going to want to look to get back on, on his horse here. He doesn't want to leave too much of an opening here. He's sitting at 23 after 3 here in the fourth. Nate's pacing. He goes, he wants to get back in there and cut this lead. Well, Drew, this one's, this one's going to be right up there with your match last night. So far, it is not disappointing. And right on the head pin, drops everything but the king pin. That was a beautiful ball. Way to get back on track for Dave. Well, 
And we're live here at Webster, Webster Tim Mullane's. This is a Class C semi, Class C South semi-final match. The winner of this match will face Michael Fabrizio Smith, who defeated Patrick McCauley in the other semi-final match here for Cl Class C. If Dave wins the match, he's in the lead right now, he would travel and a beautiful spare. That's the way to get back on it. He will face uh, Michael Fabrizio Smith down at Ryan's family down in Yarmouth. And if Nate wins, Michael will travel here to Webster's Timberlane to meet Nate. So a nice timely spare there for Dave in the fourth box of the fourth string. And right in the pocket. Oh! Much better ball than he got it, but he still picked up six. Leading himself to four, five, seven, and ten. Piece of wood right in the middle there. Dave studying to see how he wants to play it. Welcome, Emmett. Bud McKinney, and glad all 24 of you have, have tuned in. We've got a great match. It's back and forth. Dave just keeping a small lead here. Oh, what a beautiful bid. Ten pin is not going to get helicoptered down. Dave's sitting at 39 through 4. He wants to pick this up. And he's right on it for 10 bucks to finish first half with the 49. Nate coming up in this. His first half of the fourth string here. We mentioned we got a close one, 309 to 302 through three completed strings. Seven pin lead for Dave Peterson. Nate's gonna wanna try to do some damage here in the first half of his fourth string. Don't go anywhere, we've got a great match going. We said right from the start, this one was gonna come right down to the last string and it will. Oh, beautiful ball right there. Drops everything but the seven. Looked for a second like it was going to punch out, but it was just enough in the pocket. Nate, Nate has had spares in his last two strings. And he keeps that string going with the spare in the first. Nate looking to cut into that lead oh, right off the bat. All right, keep moving the camera in there. I just want to keep a good view for you guys. And on the spare fill. And Nate drops seven. Leaving himself another spare leave. So he's, he's left with uh, one, two, four. Wood off to the right, no help. But 17 after, after one. He's up 17 to eight in his fourth string. Oh, just doinked it a little bit to the right. Right now, the match lead is in Nate's favor. He's up two pins for the match. And picks up a nine here. Giving him 26 after two completed frames. He's up 26 to 15 to Dave. So that gives him... A four pin lead in the match. Through 32 completed boxes. We got a family off to the left here that's entertaining as they are, but hopefully they don't distract the bowlers. Welcome, Maddie. And Nate chops it off to the, left, to the right a little bit. Oh, almost wiggled a couple here. Le Drop six on his first ball. Leaving the one, two, six, and ten. Piece of wood to the left of the six. Not sure if that'll come into play, but it could. Oh! He'd want that one back just Slid off to the left a little bit. Gonna wanna try to pick these up, keep the pressure on, keep that lead going. It's up against an eight box. And 
and chop, chops off the head pin for the seven. And through 33 completed boxes, we've, we've got a three pin lead for Nate Whaler. This is a this is a barn burner. Like I said, we've got our old fashioned Donnybrook. Through uh, three completed boxes, Nate sitting at 33. To Dave's 23. And right in the pocket again. Looked like a perfect ball. Gets rewarded with the spread eagle. That's, that's about the second time in about five or six boxes for Nate that he's thrown a perfect ball for a spread eagle. Let's see how he goes to work here. And grabs, grabs the left side. Almost sent it over to the right side. Grabs the right side, rather. Almost sent it over, but he threw a, piece, a plank over to the left side to hopefully help him with this. And it does. He grabs, grabs a good nine off that spread eagle, giving him 42 after four completed boxes to Dave's 39. So three pins. Now it's... This, this match is total. I'll give you an update. At the halfway point of this fourth string, after this frame, right, right off to the left. Not the, not a good time for um, half was to the left. Got a couple of the young fans to the left here. They're the future of bowling, yeah. A couple of young ones here practicing to the left here. Very intrigued in the match here, just like the rest of us. Oh, beautiful ball. Still working. A uh, little bit of wiggle there. We had a blocker there. Nate makes a better door than a window. Leaving himself the one four seven. Oh, shoots it through the hole for a seven. So hot. So half, halfway through the fourth string, Dave with the 49. 49-49. So it's all, this string, the fourth string is all tied up, 49-49. to 49. So Dave retains his seven-pin lead after three and a half strings. One and a half to go. Well, Drew, I don't know about announcing. Um, there's, there's a lot of great announcers for the Worlds there, but I, I'd like to take a trip up there anyways. Help out in any way I can, but I know it's a crowded field. A lot of great people will be doing some nuns in there. So I'd be more than willing to help wherever I can. Dave started second half of the fourth string here, right in the pocket, and here we go. He drops the hammer. What a way to start his sec second half there. Dave is right back. Found his found his rhythm there. Got a piece of wood he's got to clear out of the channel. Take one sec. One second here. Yeah. Welcome Brian Santos. All 22 bowlers, thanks for sticking in. This is this is a close one, as we said, right from the start. Like I said, we got a seven seven pin lead for Dave Peterson after three and a half strings. Dave starting up the second half of the fourth string with a strike. And on the strike, oh, he drops one right in the pocket again. And he drops seven on his first ball. Leaving the three, six, seven. He's got some wood behind it. It's very makeable here. Sam. Oh, and he pushes it for a spear on strike. Beautiful shot by Dave to pick up that spear. And that gives him 79 in the ball through seven. He's trying to put the pressure on Nate here. As mentioned, the seven pin lead after three and a half strings coming up on fire here in the second half of the fourth. 
Start it up. Strike, and then a spare on strike. And on the fill. And he drops another six. Leave it himself. The one, three, eight, nine. Oh, we got a little help with that. And a beautiful shot for a 10 bucks. Oh, a spear, rather. So he did pick up the spear. I'm sorry. We had a little distraction. A young bowler came over to, to show his support. And they are the future of this game. So that's a red hot start here for Dave in the second half of the fourth string. The strike, spear, six. Three marks in a row. Sitting at 95 and a ball through eight. You're welcome, Chuck. How's things in Maine? Feels like Maine weather down here today. We're in the mid 50s. Oh, he dropped, dropped four on the on the fill there. A three. He's got. Yeah, that was my mistake. Gives him 98 through 8. Right back on it. Pick, picks up everything but the 1, 6, 10. Didn't mean to short, Dave. And an 8 box. But an impressive through nine. He's sitting at 106. Dave's, Dave's going to want to put one on the end here to keep the pressure on because we know how well they can do, especially in the second half of strings. He had, he had a beautiful finish in the second string where he was 44 halfway through the second string and finished with a 114. And Dave right in the pocket. And, uh, well, he dropped seven. But left himself a spare leave here. He's got the two, five, seven. Wood behind the two and five. And some wood off to the right of it. Could be played that way also. He's gonna wanna see if he can finish here with another mark. He's had a great half in this fourth string. He was at 49 at halfway through. Oh, drops everything but the seven. Sometimes the wood just gets in the way, but a great bit. And he drops a nice 10 for 116. Great string by Dave in the fourth there. And now it's time for that wagon wheeler, the wheeler wagon to, to saddle up. He's got his long hood orange on with his matching cobras. Great, great string by Dave. Once another 160. Oh, nice drop and nice. Last pin drops, and he's got to get himself some wood. Just a seven pin standing. Nate, Nate says, I'm not done yet. And all over it, starting off the second half with the spare. Dave, after four strings, sitting at 425. Neat. Looking to cut into that. Uh, off the left of it, drop seven. Drops three, rather. On his, on his uh, fill. Gives him 59 after, after six completed boxes. He had a beautiful second ball. 
drops drops everything but the eight pin. it up for a nice 10 bucks so through uh, seven completed Dave is at 85 and Nate at 72 and he's gonna want to throw a couple marks here to get back into this Dave threw a beautiful 116 game but we know what Nate is capable of and right in the pocket he drops them all for the hammer right on cue starting off the second half is as, as good as um, Dave did with the strike in the eighth there. Keep the pressure on and cut him that lead. And on the first ball, he drops drops the half Worcester, but we get two on that strike, so he's going to look for a great, great second ball in this fill. A little frustrated with himself on that one, just coming off to the left, but that's why they give you two. And this string is tightening up. And he drops five on the strike, Phil. Giving him 82 after eight to Dave's 98, so he's down 16 in the string with two to go. Dave is open on the, I'm sorry, that's a good out there for nine bucks. So through nine completed, Dave at 106 and Nate at 96. So he's down 10 up against 10 bucks here to finish up the fourth. Oh, tough, tough three pin drop again. Four, four pin drop, brother. He's, he's got the one, three, four, seven, nine, six, nine. Or something like that. Yep. Yeah, good, good bid there. Oh, he gets every, everything but the one pin. Dave's lead is going to go up here. And it's 10 bucks. Finished with a nice 106. So, fourth string, uh, we get a 116 for Dave to 106 for Nate. Puts the lead at 17 pins after four completed strings. I'll show you the scorecard in a second, but don't go anywhere. This is a great match. Here we are, through four completed, four completed strings here. We started with a 109 to 104 for Dave, 117, 114 for Dave, for an eight pin lead after two. And then uh, four four took a break in the third, 84 to 83. And for a seven pin lead, and Dave just dropped a 116 to Nate's 106. For 425 total through four for Dave to 408 for Nate. We've got a 17 pin lead Dave, for Dave Peterson going into the final string. Don't go anywhere. Two explosive bowlers there. That's why they're in the finals. Dave, Dave had a great first match, uh, beating Matt Tapero, who was on fire all season long in, in the quarterfinals. And now we He's uh, got a 17-pin got a lead on Nate Wheeler here in the semifinals. And just, just off to the left, uh, drops five. Leaving the 1, 3, 7, 8, 10. And the second ball. Oh, a great bid there, but uh, leaves the 1-7 left. Start this fifth and final string. It's a total pin match. We get a 17 pin lead 
for Dave Peterson, who's just starting the fifth string now. Oh, just off to the right a little bit. The wood took it away. For an eight box to start in the fifth. This is John O'Hearn. Uh, thank you, everyone. All 22, 21, 22 people. We've had as many as 23 or 26 people. Uh, and as, uh, as mentioned, uh, this, this match does not disappoint. And Dave, right off to the left hit, but ends up dropping six. Lead himself to one, three, six, and nine. And thank you, Michael. I just moved it a little bit to the right. That, that should be a little better now. Oh, man. Drops everything but the head pin. Thank you for everyone's feedback. Uh, you're just, in, just as thrilled as I am on this match. It's uh, This is an old-fashioned Donnybrook. Dave trying to put some pressure on with an eight box on his first. And he's gonna have to settle for a nine in a second, giving him 17 after two. Carry in. This is a great match. Just as I thought it would be. Don't have a need out yet. And that's a seven pin drop. Leaving the six, seven, ten. Here in the third box of the fifth string for Dave. He's got some wood that could possibly help us he'll sail, sail over to the seven pin. Great bid, but the wood give it, the wood take it away. It's rolling towards that seven, but I think it's going to run out of steam before it gets there. Now it's just rolling around. Hey, John. What we got so far? And Dave grabs a nine box, giving him 26 through three. Leaving him, leaving himself a little open hand. We know what, we know what Nate can do, especially here in his home lanes. But Dave's been pinning well. Owner John Pumpers is just checking in on us. Uh, he has a great operation hand down in Abington, Webster Timber Lanes. Great place for the family, nice restaurant, Lucy's behind me. Oh! Just chops in the middle there. And another tough break. Leaving himself a two and three. Leaving himself uh, the two, four, three, six, ten. Welcome, Gary Duffett. I'm glad you find us, Benjamin. You've been a great fan of the candle pen. Hope we don't, we don't disappoint. It's been a lot of great matches streamed. We're in the playoffs now, and this is this is a fantastic game. And this match is not disappointing at all. Oh, he drops one there for another eight box, giving uh, Dave 34 through four. He's going to want to sit on one hand to keep the pressure on Nate. Nate's pacing here off to the right. He can't wait to get up there. Well, thank, thank you, Caitlin. I appreciate it. I'm glad you get my jokes. And Dave here on top of the last box in the last first half of the... Oh, not a good time for a half Worcester. You know, 
We're more than halfway to Worcester anyways from here, down in Hamilton, Mass. Dave's gonna want a great second ball here. Painting's gonna be crucial here in this last string. Ew! Some late action, nope. The wood just settles in, in front of the 4-7, so he's got the 1-4-7-10. Oh, wood, wood has rolled back towards us a little bit. Let's see how he plays it here. So after after four strings, Drew, it's a 17-pin lead to Dave. And a nice pin, and he picks up nine. Good out there for 43 half to Dave. But halfway through the fifth, Dave Peterson's at 53. So just a recap on where we are. After four completed strings, Dave is up 17 pins, 425 to 408. Nate's got something to say about it now. Dave's given him a little bit of open here with the 43 half and the, the fifth and final spring. Let's see if uh, Nate can capitalize on it. I hear the wheel of wagon pulling into the station. Yeah, a little bit off to the right, but leaves the four horsemen. Let me just move a, a little bit of left there, give you a little better. Better view here. And the four horsemen and oh, just slightly off to the left. Picks, chops out two, leaving the one seven. Up against an um, eight box from Dave. And it's a nine box for Nate. So we've got a 16 pin lead right now. Nate, so for the match, Dave is up 16. Um, there is an opening here in the first half for for Nate here though. Let's see how he capitalizes. Off to the left a little bit, leaves him a pack, pack of seven. He's gonna need a great second shot here. Drops it. Everything but the one and eight. It's up against the nine box here. So pinning is going to be crucial here. He grabs at least one. Oh, that one got away from a little bit to the right. So it's an eight box. So box the box in the fifth string here. It's 17 17. Um, I said it's a 17 pin lead for Dave right now. But Dave is open the rest of the way in this first half of the fifth string. So it's still a great opening here for Nate to cut into that match lead. Oh, beautiful. Thought that was the hammer. So did Nate. Great eight drop there. Leaving himself, leaving himself the seven eight. Does have a plank in front of it. This is going to come down to pinning this game. And he picks up the spare. Timely spare there for Nate in the third. Third, now he, he's up. He's up 27 and 26 with the ball in hand for the fifth string here. So right now the match is 16 pins less this ball. And Nate drops seven. So it's a, the match is now tightening up, 11 pins. That was a nice 17 box for Nate in the third. Let's see what we can do here to pick it up. Oh, great bid. Just the ball just sailed by it. Leaving just the six pin, wood, wood on both sides. See if Nate can pick it up. Uh, pinning is going to be great. Oh, and that one fell off to the gutter. So that gives him 43 through four completed boxes. And the lead is down to eight for the match. 
43-34 for the string so far in the fifth. Uh, and I'll give you the update here, but right now it's an eight-pin match. And left himself the four horsemen to the left and the 6-10. So he's got the four and two here. Uh, this could go. He's gonna he's gonna need this or at least as many pins as he can to tighten up that keep the lead to single digits for this for the last half. And he chop, chops off the one two. Leave himself the four six ten. Four six seven ten. Piece of wood. And he pulls off the left side there for an eight box. But halfway through, it's a 51 half for Nate to Dave's 43. So it's a nine pin match lead right now, halfway through the fifth and final string. Don't go anywhere. This is going to be a barn burner. Dave coming up for us. Just going to move the camera here uh, to get the best vantage point. The double pinnacle. Or like, uh, thank you, uh, Benjamin, or like Paul Grant calls it, the banana split. I actually call that the two and two. I call it the Chuck Willery. We'll be back in two and two. If you guys are old like me, you'll get that love connection uh, reference. All right, Dave, start the final half of the fifth string and the match. He's got a nine pin lead right in the pocket. It gets rewarded with a, a 3-2 split. He's got the 2 4 seven, six, nine on the right. And oh, just chops off the 2 pin there. Leaves him 4 to go. He, pinning is going to be crucial here in this last half of the match. It's it's coming down. This Donnie Brook is gonna go right back to the last punch, I think. And for the out. And Dave picks up an eight box in the six. Give him 51 after six complete. So yes, uh, Benjamin Chuck Woolery was the first host of Wheel of Fortune. Tough lead for Dave, but knowing Dave as I do, he's gonna bounce right back. Both these bulls are so dangerous and competitive, they, they're not gonna give up. And Dave chops off the triangle to the right, leaving a pack of seven to the left. Big ball hand. Ooh, and he pulls it a little bit to the left, leaving himself the diamond. He's he's got the one five eight nine center diamond. And a beautiful bid to pick up a nine. Just carry in. Both these guys are fighters. It's gonna it's gonna come to see who's the last who throws the last punch. Right now, Dave struggling a little bit in the fifth and final string, but he's got three boxes to go. He's sitting at 60 after seven. Nate with a 51 half. So through, through four and a half string. It, it is a nine pin lead for Dave. Dave just chops off the seven pin there. Luckily for him, it's a spare lead. See what Dave can do it there. Be, he said pinning is going to be crucial here. Yeah. Right back in the pocket. Gets rewarded again, man. Unless the wood helps it. Well, he's got three on the right and one on the left. He's got the four, four, three, six, ten. And a beautiful shot. These guys have been picking up Difficult spares all day long. Thank you, everyone. For 
for tuning in, all 28 of you. This, this has been a great match, and it's going to come right down to the last box. I, I just have a feeling. We could have a, we could have an overtime string here. So if we do end up in a tie, through the rules, we would, they would bowl one string playoff. And Dave drops five. I'm sorry, that was a 10, 10 box in the last one for a 70 through eight. He's got the post here. With the one, three, six, ten, six, seven, ten. Welcome Dave LaRoche. Oh, just chops up. The head pin there, he's gonna wanna pick up these pins there. It's gonna come down to pinning. This is too close to match. Through four and a half. It's a nine pin lead for Dave. But he's leaving a little bit, little bit opening in the door here. And that's an eight box. So through nine complete, Dave is sitting at 98, at 78 rather. Um, he's gonna wanna put one on the end here to keep the pressure on, on Nate. Nate's got that wheel wagon. It's standing by, he's ready to drive it home. This is gonna be a close one. Dave's gonna wanna put something here. Dave, Dave is struggling to drill on this one. Mark here would go a long way with him. And then we are in the 10th box of the final string for Dave and another chop. Ooh, another ugly lead for Dave there. He's got the one, seven, six, eight, ten. He's got a piece of wood behind the head pin. He could really use this. Oh, and doinks the wood. It was off to the right. Leaving the one, six, seven, and ten. Tough leave. He's going to want to get as many pins as he can here. Because the wheel of wagon is ready to pull in the station. And he picks up two more there for an eight. For an 86, fifth string. So he is up 86, plus he was up... Nate sitting at 51 halfway through. Let me just do a quick math here when Nate starts up. And first ball for Nate. Off to the left. Uh, Dave finished up his five strings at 5'11 with an 86. His lowest string, uh, second, he had two strings, two, an 86 and an 83, but he had a 116 and a 117 to go with it. It's 109 for 511 total. And Nate with the second ball leaves four. He's got the uh, one, three, six, eight, six, nine. 53 to win for Nate, yes. Thank you for the math. And that's an eight box for Nate. So he's sitting at 59 through six completed. It's 59 to 51. He's up eight for the string. So right now it's a nine pin match in favor, you know, box to box for Dave Peterson. Four to go. So Dave is open the rest of the way. Oh, what a shot. Almost drops the hammer there, but drops everything but the five. I can hear it. Here comes that wheel of wagon pulling in the station. Oh, just sails to the left there. Dave takes a quick sigh of relief there. Welcome, Sarah. It's a nine bucks for Nate. We're giving him 68 through seven completed here in the fifth. So he's up eight in the string, down nine in the match. The 
He's going to need 35 to tie in these three. Oh, and a great ball. Gets rewarded with the, uh, the goal post to 7-10. He has one piece of wood there that could help. Let's see how he plays it. Dave is, is pacing behind me here. Oh, a great bid. Grabs a 7. But that was a great bid by Nate. It's going to be a close one. He's up against a 10 box from Dave. And he completes the 10 box. Doesn't lose anything there. He's still up 8 for the string. Down 9 for the match with 2 to go. I told you this was going to be right down to the last box, the last punch. This Donnybrook. All right, with these two, Nate's going to need 25 pins to tie, 26 to win. And a great ball he starts off with. But he's got the Woolworth discount, the 5 and 10. He's going to have to make a pretty one here. He's been he's, he's had great first balls the second half here, but some tough splits. Yes, Caitlin, this is a nail-biter. Oh, just sails off to the left there. He was trying to cut off that cash in on the 5 and 10. All right, so he, like I said, he needs uh, 25 to tie between this box and next. And he picks up a timely 10 box there. So he's going to need to mark in the back here. So that gives him 88 through 9 complete boxes. He's up 10 for the string. Down seven for the match. Um, is that correct? Seven, he's going to need uh, 17 to tie. Eight. Yeah, 17 to tie. So he's going to need a mark here. Let's see what Nate does here. Oh, it ha hammers the ball, but does not get rewarded. He's got the 159. He does have a plank in front. He's going to need a free one here. Like I said, this is coming right down. Here we are on the last box. The last punches are being thrown right now. Oh, great bid, but it's it's, it's not going to be enough. Uh, Dave Peterson is going to take the win here. Well, folks, I said it was going to be the last one. A nice nine box for 97 for Nate. He did pick up 11 pins there, but Dave Peterson wins by six. We'll talk to the Bulls in a second. Let me just get the score sheet filled out for you. But it looks like a six-pin win. So, great match here. The class, class C's South semifinal. Dave Peterson takes, takes the total here with 5'11 to Nate's 5'05. Uh, it was right down to that last half. What a fantastic match. This is one to save. If you didn't get to see it, you could re-watch it. But uh, it's been my pleasure watching two great bowlers. Um, Dave Peterson takes out another top seed. Now, for the Class C South, Dave has taken out the one in the two seed. And now he's going to be taking on the five seed down in Yarmouth to be scheduled soon. Thank you. Thank you all. This has been a great match. Uh, it's been a great season for both these gentlemen, um, both in the money. Thank you all for tuning in, and great, great job. Tune in soon. Thank you, everyone. Tuning out from Webster, Timber Lanes, in Abington, Mass. If you haven't checked this out, come on, come on by. Great place to bowl. And a great restaurant, too. Thank you all. Thank you, Kate.